This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. And let me know how I'm getting on as well. I'd like feedback of all types. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Let's get on with it. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models, and welcome to issue 94 of Building R2D2. We're nearly there, we're finishing. Today, we are fitting the microcontroller unit. Um, not a lot of building to do. We got rid of that early this month. So uh, let's look at the planets, part two. Um, all run, different planets and different uh, characters and things used on there. Uh, part 15 of looking at R2, obviously we're in Jedi now, used to, do they use much in Jedi? I don't remember a great deal of R2, he's interacting with the Ewoks a bit, but, um, yeah, he tried to open the thing and got electrocuted, didn't he, but not particularly R2 heavy, Jedi I don't think. Uh, robotic hands, um, yeah, interesting ways of gripping and grasping and not breaking things. There we go. Uh, so, yes, we are doing the Marvel Cinematic Universe. No, the, the microcontroller unit. Um, it's a box that's got all the main board in it, uh, which we don't get to see. It's all sealed up when we get it. But we've got lots of parts, sprues, and fittings, things to do onto it. Uh, we're going to fit people, organizers to it, and then fit that into the bracket that we fitted last time, basically. Uh, not using lots of the screws that they've provided us with. But uh, yeah, I'll clear the bench, I'll bring R2 back in, and we'll get that done. So, this is it. This is the microcontroller unit. I could open it and have a look, but I'm not going to. Lots of plugs and sockets of things to go onto there. All labelled, speaker, uh, C in, HM, power, on, off. Lots of sockets. But first of all, we're going to put these organisers in place. Uh, it says to make sure that the opening is on this side, so they will be going on there like that. Uh, our good old friend, 2.6 by 2.3 by 6 mil screws, self-tapping screw. Two of each, two of these will hold each of those in place. Get those on. But you've got to have somewhere to keep the cables nice and tidy. Not that there's lots moving inside R2 himself. Inside the head obviously rotates, so there's lots of things going on there. But for R2 himself. Quite a lot of cables running through the inside of him, so uh, we need to keep them tidy. So that is that. I'll tighten these up. And then we just need to fit this in place. Now this is not screwed in place. For some reason, once again, they've given us a whole heap of screws, um, most of which we don't need until later. Just annoying. I don't like it. There's no need for it. Uh, why not give them to us when we need them? Got a packet of these that I haven't even opened last since last time, but uh, I'll get all these put away in the screw box after we finish the build. But uh, that's it for the screwdriver today. Put that out of the way. Uh, so R2 himself will come back in. The back of this has two little slidey bracket things, and that fits onto this bracket that we installed last time. Nice and easy. Just sort of keys in place. So if we can get that in, get that locked in the top, and then push it down. And that is it. That is its MCU installed, ready to be plugged in. All the power and everything will be plugged into that at a later date. Uh, I think next time we're going to start playing with these. We've only got like six issues left of the build. Uh, so, yeah. That is that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the build. Uh, do keep in touch. Let me know what's going on. And I shall see you next time for getting some of these wires plugged in and sorted out. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.